Hey everybody, it's My Healthier Me. I was just about to make a salad and I thought I would try to make a video. So I've rigged up a little pl place here to put the camera and I'm hoping it isn't going to fall and that you'll be able to see and all of that. Um, if it doesn't work out, whatever, I have a feeling we're going to be doing this in two parts so that I can uh, pause and do a few things and come back. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to do this salad video recipe. So, Okay, so let me put you down. Let's see if this works. I rigged up a little thing here, so hopefully you can see. Hope that works okay. Anyways, okay, so I've thrown out a few things here. I'm just going to get started. I have some iceberg lettuce that's been sitting in the fridge a while. And I'm going to cut that up. We'll start with that. It's not sitting in the fridge a while. <laughs> I don't know what's a while. <laughs> a week. <laughs> I need to eat it. So here we go. What I'm doing is just bite sized pieces. Iceberg lettuce is so easy to cut. Okay, so I'll throw that in there. That's quite a bit of iceberg lettuce. And I'm going to throw in some of this yummy bok choy. I think that's what it's called. I'm not familiar with all that stuff sometimes. Okay, so I'm just going to make that into pieces. And like almost like I would do a celery. And then I'll gather it up. Oh, that didn't get cut. put that in there. Okay. So now we got iceberg lettuce and bok choy. Now I'm just going to take a few romaine leaves here because we have quite a bit of greens already. That iceberg busted up really good. So now again I'm going to just make them into bite sized pieces. I just go up the middle just to break it. And then chop. And there we go. Okay, so now I've got all my greens, which should be most of your salad. Okay. And take out this little brown leaf. Okay, now. I'm going to add some cucumber. I'm going to use my ceramic knife now. It's easier for chopping with the big knife, but this is, keeps the, the enzymes, the oxidation down because it's ceramic and not metal, which is better. Keeps the, like if you cut an apple with this knife instead of the metal knife, it won't go as brown as fast because the metal oxidizes the salt and that. Anyway, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just getting this chopped nice pieces, like so. And now we have <laughs> some cucumber. And I'm going to take this little garlic and I slice it and then I slice it again and then turn it and chop it and then gather it and chop it. Wipe it off your knife and chop it and chop it until it's really small or you could have one of those little garlic presses or you know the easy way I just chop it it's easy it's not hard to chop garlic see look there I'm done and then I'll gather it up look it done and then when I put it in the bowl I'm just gonna 
sprinkle it around so it's not all in one clump. And then give it a stir. And put everything back. Because <laughs> it comes out on your hands. And now I'm going to just grab a little bit of onion here. And chop that up. I love onions and garlic. I think I put onions in like almost everything unless it's sweet. <laughs> I sometimes I'll make a salad and I won't put onions, but it's rare. It's got one or the other, onions or garlic usually. I prefer that my salad usually have some kind of onion, green onion, white onion, yellow onion, purple onion, anything. It doesn't have to have garlic in it every time, but I like to put onion in it every time. And if you don't have onions, you can use onion powder if it's organic. All of the food items I'm using today, everything is organic. Yeah, everything's organic. Okay. So, onions, spread those out. And, mix it in. Okay, now, let me check the time. Okay. So, now, I'm going to put avocado. I've got a, a part, a part of an avocado here. Just going to scoop out. I don't have a spoon. Oh, here's one. I'm just going to take this brown part off here. It was sitting in the fridge for a day. I didn't eat the whole thing last time. And, yeah, see, if I had a video editing program, I bet you I could do this a little bit nicer so people wouldn't have to sit here and watch me do all <laughs> the little things. I don't know, maybe you like watching all these little things. Okay, so now I'm going to mush the avocado on the side of my bowl, just so it's, you know, or you could cut it into chunks if you like. I like it mushed. And then I'm going to squeeze lemon juice of a lemon just over the avocado mostly and then I'm going to take some orange and I'm going to squeeze orange all over the salad there we go Woo! I love orange on my salad okay, just wash my hands Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of sauerkraut, just about a tablespoon, I would say. Well, maybe two. Yeah, maybe two. There we go. <coughs> and I'm going to put just a dash of organic ginger. Spread that sauerkraut out. Okay, now I'm just going to mix the avocado. Oh, i got to put the salt on first. Himalayan sea salt. Uh, about a teaspoon? Maybe less, yeah. Not that much. Okay, and I'm also going to sprinkle on some... You can see that. Vita mineral green. And that is green food, green powder. It contains all of this stuff. Nettles, alfalfa, dandelion, wheatgrass, ginger, dolls, chlorella, spirulina, 
enzymes, probiotics, it's just amazing. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon. And I'm just going to sprinkle it around. And then it's just like I put a whole bunch of other stuff in my salad. <laughs> whole bunch of really good stuff. Okay, now the only thing I'm missing would be my hemp seeds. And my tomato. And I'll sprinkle the one, two tablespoons of hemp seeds. And I'll cut up. I would put more tomato if I had more, but I don't. So I'm just going to put this half tomato. If I had more now, oh, I have to show you this. Look at this. My tomato seeds are sprouting. Do you see that? Look, they're sprouting. I'm not, this is like a sprouted tomato. I'm eating a sprouted tomato, people. All the seeds inside this tomato started to sprout. Is that not cool? I don't think I've ever seen that before. I thought it was cool. I almost wanted to take them out and plant them, but we don't have any soil. And anyway, we can do this again. I'm sure I can get tomato seeds to sprout again. So here's my sprouted tomato. Not very much of it. Oh, I'm missing one more thing. Okay, so there's one more ingredient to add to that. Last ingredient, which is raisins. Okay, and I'm going to take them out. And I'll probably... I just opened this pack, so I haven't gone through it to make sure there's stems. So I'll just take a handful, just check for stems as I check them, and then I'll put like about a handful, which is, I don't know, less than half a cup, so a quarter cup, eighth of a cup, something like that. Okay, now I'm going to mix it. Here, I'll show you what it looks like before I mix it. Just everything kind of all sitting there. All in a lump. Okay, so mix, mix, mix. Now i got to get the avocado mixed in because that's my dressing. And then orange juice and the lemon juice and the salt. Those are dressing. Now, if you don't have avocado or if you don't have a ripe one, you can put olive oil instead or flax oil or avocado oil instead of avocado if you don't have it. Now, I'm just going to make sure there's no lumps of avocado pasty in there anywhere. It's nice and evenly just sherbeted. And my vitamin mineral green isn't all in one spot. Okay. Let me just clean up the mess I made. <laughs> okay. There we go. It's done. Let me test it. See if it's good first. Mmm. Wow. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. Tangy. With the sauerkraut. Oh, it's tangy. It's really good. It tastes like zesty Italian craft dressing or something. It's really good. And with the raisins, it gives it that sweetness. Oh, it's really good. So I hope you enjoy that salad, everybody. Let me get myself another bat. Mmm. 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 It wouldn't be the same without the raisins. Fish and love.